So my brows are done. I'm gonna get straight into priming my face. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Invisible Coconut Primer. I love this primer. It's super hydrating. It feels super lightweight and it helps my foundation and my base last all day. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Bam, bam. And then straight into my face, I'm just gonna massage this. Ah, just feels so good. Put my hair, my crazy mop of a hair behind my ears. Just gonna blend that in. Mmm. And it smells like skincare. Just smells so amazing. How is everyone? How is everyone feeling? How are we all? In Sydney today, it is super wet. It is raining, but I'm so here for it. I actually love this weather right now. Ah, I'm gonna let that settle into my skin and then we're gonna get straight onto eyes. So to prime my eyes, I'm using this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm just gonna apply this straight onto my eyelid. Right up to my brow bone. Then I'm just gonna go in with my ring finger and I'm just gonna blend that all away. Sometimes I run, sometimes, sometimes I hide. And just be careful when you're blending it up into your brow that you don't actually put any concealer on your brow. It just gives me a really beautiful base and a clean canvas for my eyeshadow. You guys always ask me what I'm using for primer on my eyes. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it will be NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Iconic eyeshadow palette in Editorial. A beautiful palette. Lots of beautiful greens and mattes. And it has this beautiful lime green, goldish kind of shimmer. So I think I'm going to start off with using... This shade is called Wheel C. This will be my transition colour. Just placing this right in my crease using windscreen wiper motions. I don't usually use very cool tones in my transition color, so this is kind of exciting for me. What a life I live. That I get excited with transition colors. That blended out like a dream. Okay. We got something. Now that that's placed on, I will be taking a smaller blending brush and going in with this shade called Enviously. So I'm just going to place it right in my crease, quite heavily, using patting motions. And then once that's placed, I'll go in with a different blending brush and I'll buff it out. That was so easy to put down. This is so freaking pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush. I'm going to blend out the edges. These brushes are actually very nice as well. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going back in with that green shade and then I'll buff out the edges again. I just want to make sure I don't lose any intensity. But I also want the edges like really blown out. So that's why I keep repeating these steps. What I'm also going to do is add a little bit of that green to the outer corner. I'm just gonna pat that on. Then same thing as well, just blending out the edges. And don't worry about all this fallout because we'll be getting a baby wipe and wiping that all off. And now I'm just doing the same technique that I did on this side on the other eye. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of this concealer. So I've just grabbed a little bit on the back of my hand, going in with a concealer brush. I'm going to begin to cut my crease. very difficult to cut my crease on my eyes because I have very hooded eyes and because I'm 30 years old my eyelids are like tummy rolls you know what I mean this ain't cute anymore but I still got a little some some left so that is what it's looking like so far so I'm kind of happy with this now. This shade next season, I don't know if you guys can see, it has a green and yellow shift. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to place this on the inner part of my eye. So just right here in the inner corner. I want to bring some light 
Oh, this color is so beautiful. It's like low key mermaid. Like, it's stunning. I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is called Pletha Python, and that will go in the center of my lid. Oh my god, these eyeshadows are so pretty. Why haven't I used these before? Oh, this is so pretty, yo. Oh. I'm actually super impressed with myself. The darkest shade, which is called Everywhere. Just to the outer corner, just to smoke that out just a little bit more. So now that my eyeshadow is kind of finished, I want to use this new product that I've never used before by Marc Jacobs. This is their Magic Marker Waterproof Liquid Liner. This is in the shade Coco. I wanted to do a brown kind of winged liner. I thought that would be pretty cool against the green. So this is what the tip looks like. It is super fine. It's like super thin lines, which I love. This is pretty much my eyes finished. I am obsessed with how it turned out. These lashes on, these are the Iconic Lights. One of my faves by House of Lashes. Now we can get on with the rest of the face. I will be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I'm just so obsessed with this foundation. I find it so multi-use um, because it has such a high pigment ratio. Um, a little goes such a long way. So it's kind of like a stick foundation in liquid form if that kind of makes sense. It's super blendable, lasts for 24 hours, oil free because I do have combo skin. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the applicator. That was so cool. Um, I went to a Marc Jacobs brand immersion the other day and they had explained why the applicator is the way it is. It is because it little does go such a long way and they find as though a pump it would dispense more than enough product that you would need, if that kind of makes sense. The lid comes off. Cute little applicator and I'm just gonna go one dot. Marc Jacobs, the seamless foundation brush, which I love. I find it's like, because it's so dense, it just helps me push the product and dispense it evenly all over my face. So as you can see, I'm just gonna, and that already, just from that one little pump, that's like half my face done already. Whoa, mama. Yes. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Look at the difference. So that literally did like that whole portion of my face. One dot, boom. She's not here to play people. It's gonna dispense this all over my face. Whoa. I'll blend this in. Straight off the bat, it is so full covered. I love it. Oh my god, so that was two dots on my face. What more if I had like one, two, like boom. And that's why I love this product as well because it's like, this whole thing would last you forever. Oh my gosh. And it has a beautiful satin matte kind of finish. I feel like I won't be so generous on the top, just like a little like the smallest little I swear I love this foundation so much yes but I do know because it is a high-end luxury makeup brand it would be on the more dearer side but in saying that you I did my whole face with like three measly drops like you're definitely getting your money's worth with this foundation the amount of foundation that I usually put on like that's pretty good. Hang in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. They should make concealers like that. <gasps> mm, Marc Jacobs, if you guys are watching me, you should make remarkable concealers. High pigment that don't need a lot. Because look how much concealer I'm putting on right now. Imagine if you guys made one, it would be like doot doot. And then my whole face would be like highlighted to perfection. Okay. I'm like feeling this. This is like all the vibes. Using the Kat Von D translucent powder, I'm just gonna pat this into my skin. I'm actually gonna leave the rest of my skin unpowdered because I like the way that the Remarkable Foundation is setting on my face. Gosh, I'm really liking my makeup, yeah, yeah. Contouring my face using Benefits Hula. Just right 
under my cheekbones. You can see that it just makes my cheekbone come out. And I like to bring this right into my hairline so you don't see where it kind of begins or ends. Right under my chin because that ain't cute. Although it's getting smaller. Because I've been training. My trainer's name is Justin. He's from United Boot Camps Blacktown. Started personal training, which is great. And my results have been really good. So I've been doing it for about a month now. And I haven't lost much weight, which I wasn't too concerned about in the beginning. I just wanted to like shape up and lose weight. I lose my baby stomach, a little jiggles there, and just tone up and stuff. And I've lost, I think, like a total of like eight centimeters around my stomach so far. Like, I think like three, four centimeters off my arms. Um, I know it's just really exciting. It's like when you work really hard and you see progress, it's like, yes. Ah, so now I'm gonna bronze up my face using the Napoleon bronzing powder. Out of all the bronzers I've ever tried, I just always go back to this one, always. And no one ever uses it. So I'm like, is there something wrong with me? It's just super peachy. Like it just looks so nice on the skin. It's kind of like my blush and bronzer in one. Like I just, I don't know, I just love it. I'm just gonna go in with that green that we were using in the crease, enviously. And I'm just gonna place this on my lower lash line. And this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, one of my favorites. Not gonna go on my false lashes, just on my natural lashes to blend that together. They just, I love this mascara, it just makes my bottom lashes look so freaking long. And for that, I like to use the tip. That's what she said. What are you guys like obsessed about at the moment? I'm obsessed with a, a song. It was my husband's birthday. It was Friends' birthday actually on Monday. But we went to a friend's house, friends's? A friend's house on Sunday and they were doing karaoke. I was doing karaoke. But I've just been so obsessed with Britney Spears' song, Sometimes. Sometimes I run. Sometimes I hide. Sometimes I'm scared. I don't know why. I went to the shops and it came on in the shops and as I was walking I was just like, you tell me. Like I was just singing with it. I was just so, I was on a vibe. And then I sang it again on Sunday at the karaoke and it's just, I've been listening to it every day. I just love it. I just love it. And then I, I went, I went to the hairdressers, not the hairdressers, I went to the barbershop. No, I don't know where I was, but then the song, the video clip was playing. I'm like, this is a sign. Like this is just my vibe for this week. <laughs> You guys ever like, does that stuff ever happen to you? Does it only happen to me? Like my vibe this week is Britney Spears sometimes. Like that is my vibe AF. Next season, right on my inner corner. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Fenty Beauty, how many Chris carrots, <laughs> not crystals. It is so weird, dude. Like it is wet. You know the, the NYX, I love you so much -y? It felt like that, but not. It feels like that because it's squishy. But it, this is wet. I don't know. It's just so freaking cool. I just don't know how to use it because it's like wet. You know what I mean? Should I use my finger? Let's try with my finger. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. You see that you're the only one for me. I wanna believe. Okay, stop. Get out of my head. Because the sounds. Sorry. So good. But if you no, slow. Oh my God, stop singing. Okay, a little bit on my nose. Melissa Sassine Velvet Liquid Lipstick and her new lip liner in Lady God Diva. God Diva, God Diva, I don't know. Is that a drink? I think it is. And my lips with a lip liner first. Now I'm going in with the shade Caramel. This is her Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Cause the sound. So this completes the look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I really did. I really like, like talking. I really enjoyed this video. I really like doing talk through videos, actually. I find as though, I don't know, doing voiceovers, it kind of loses momentum and this kind of felt so much more easier. So let me know down below if you guys like these talk through videos. I will do so many more for you. Um, also, let me know if you want me to do any challenges like or like any videos with my husband or my kids. I know you guys always ask about them. So let me know down below if you guys want me to do that as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It is 
totally for free, duh, and come be a part of the Jack Squad. I love my fam. I love my squad. I love you guys so much. So yeah, come join. Feel free to join me and join me. I already said that. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell just so you guys know when all of my other videos are coming out. So yeah, thanks guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Mwah! Bye. You're the only one for me. I wanna put... Oh my god, stop. You see. No, 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 no. Oh my god. You see that you're the only one for me. I wanna believe in everything that you say Cause it sounds so good But if you really want me Move slow There's things about me you just like to know Sometimes I run, sometimes Sometimes I hide Sometimes I'm scared of you but all I really want is to hold you tight Treat you right Be with you day and night Baby, all I need is time Just hang around and you'll see I hope this song gets stuck in your head <laughs>